You're my celebrity freebie. Do you think if we weren't dating, Kaylin Ohashi would date me? And she was like, I think Kaylin Ohashi would date me. All right, so Mark, tell us a little bit about who you've brought with you today. This is my lovely wife and my best friend, Gloria. We've been together over nine years. I brought with me Taylor, my partner. Hi, y'all. We met in a mosh pit. True story. I have brought my lovely wife, Jessica. This is my wife, Laura. Hi. We've been together a long time. It's been very good. So, I'm gonna put how well you know each other to the test today, mm -hmm. and you will have to see if you can spot each other's celebrity hall passes. Oh, hell yeah. We <laughs> we talk about this. <laughs> I feel like we have a mutual appreciation for similar celebrities, and we can be like, oh yeah, they're f***ing hot. I feel like I got this. Hmm. I mean, she has so many. She's always asking, yeah, this guy, that guy, so. The whole notion, I think, is just, like, really ridiculous. <laughs> like, for if even if you were to, like, be put in a situation where you're, like, meeting a celebrity, the idea that you would have, like, the gall to, like, make a pass at them, or even, like, you know, it's just silly. So here's how this will work. I will show you three celebrities, one of which will be your significant other's hall pass. I could do that. And you will have to guess which one it is. For sure. So, you think this will be easy? Yeah. yeah. We've talked about this a few times now. I feel like I know what your type is, too. I think a broad spectrum of people are hot, though. Jessica, which one of these is Jim's freebie? Do I know a writer? Yeah, she's still very attractive. She's basically the female Paul Rudd, like, doesn't age. And she's from Petaluma. My Which hometown. Her hometown she, she tells like hometown. there's a connection, so <laughs> I'll have something to talk to Winona about. Gloria, can you tell me which one is Mark's hall pass? Oh, he likes the Latin women, so I'm gonna say Penelope. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> Laura, can you tell us which one of these is Sharon's? Oh, easy oh. breezy. That's Blake all the way. <laughs> See? She's just great. <laughs> But look at her style and her, yeah. she's got a good attitude. Oh, and it's even the simple favor. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh God, she was so sad. Are you okay? I'm all right. Okay, all right. But when, when she, that, that rain shot, you know? It's good. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Yeah, next. Eric, can you tell me which one's Kennedy's? Oh, so easy. It's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> He's like my main celebrity crush. Yeah. She has a picture with him when, from a few years ago. I do. That she looks at every night before bed. I, I don't. Well, <laughs> well, in all fairness, it used to be up on my wall. And then I got into a relationship and I was like, maybe I should take it down. So Taylor, tell me which one is Jonathan's celebrity <laughs> hall pass. <laughs> okay, this is super easy because um, I make Jonathan watch Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. <laughs> and he always says that his, like, he's like sexy smart, you know? So, John Oliver. He is 100% correct. I don't care about how you look, you're tall, them, math, I don't care. Like, if you are smart and funny, th that's stimulating for me. Tell me which one is Tori's hall pass. Oh God, all right. I feel like Zac Efron is way too predictable. We've never talked about Megan Fox. I feel like you think Megan Fox is hot, but like, you wouldn't think to put her. I'm gonna go with Rihanna. Yeah, it's Rihanna! Yeah! <laughs> Zac Efron's a perfect pick, too, because High School Musical. But no, Rihanna is the one on this list. Anthony, which one is Britney's hall pass? Oh. Well, I'm, I have to, I'm pretty sure it's Cardi B, because she said it before. Yeah, it's Cardi oh. B! You didn't even, I've never even talked about these no, other people. I know. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being married to her, but like, if Cardi B came up to me and started making out with me, like, I wouldn't back off. <laughs> All right, so next one. Can you guess which one's Jessica's? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's easy. Luke Bryan. You got it. Yeah. Well, I'm a country music girl, so that's yes. Luke Bryan. <laughs> Shake it for me. <laughs> Mark, do you know Gloria's Hall Pass? Huh. This one hasn't been discussed. She used to call me McDreamy. Yeah, well, you know, you know, love is Mark blind. Dreamy. Mark Dreamy. So I'm gonna go with Patrick Dempsey on this one. Am I, am I, yeah. am I there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sharon, will you guess Laura's hall pass? 
Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> I mean, come on, though. Look at that smile. He's gorgeous. Thank you for not saying Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> he is good looking. Yeah. Those dimples. Who does he look like? Our son. <laughs> he does look like our son. Kennedy, which one's Eric's? Oh, Emily Ratajkowski. For sure. Yeah, she's nice. Also, I can't pronounce her name, so everyone's like, who do you like? I'm like, Emily something or other. Jonathan, can you tell us Taylor's celebrity freebie? <laughs> Kristen Bell. We do love her show, but it's not her. Um, no, for, I know what it is only because it's the one I recognize the most, and that's the Brian Tyree Henry. His Atlanta. He watches Atlanta I love that show. all the time. You are correct. Brian Tyree's Henry character, his character Al on um, Atlanta is, I don't, he, he's, he's a great actor. He's cute, very handsome. Which one is Anthony's? Oh, Brent, sorry, Brandon Flowers. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, he's obsessed. I didn't even look at any of the other options. I saw Brendan Flowers there, and I was like, Brendan Flowers. He's obsessed with the killers. Yeah. He aged really well, too. Yeah, he's like he's like almost 50 or in his 50s. And he looks, like, really good. Like, he's, I, I'll take it, yeah. No, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> like, Which one is Eric? <laughs> she already know. One of them I is so, different. I so know this. It's Caitlin Ohashi, and we worked with her, and we were That's both, okay. we were both like, oh, she's really cute. But Eric was like, do you think it'd be rude if I gave her my number? She also was trying to hit on her in my defense. Shh. We were just talking about it, and I was like, do you think if we weren't dating, Caitlin Ohashi would date me? And she was like, I think Caitlin Ohashi would date me. <laughs> So you each sent me three. Can uh -huh. you guess the other two without any pictures? Okay. That you sent over. If you didn't put Rihanna on your list, we're breaking up. We'll see. Rihanna, and then, I don't know. Megan Fox? Damn. She got, yeah, that's it. Really? Yeah. Yours is Ashlyn Harris. Who's the goalie yeah. for the U.S. <laughs> national women's soccer team? And then, um, oh, Ronda Rousey. Yeah, kind of like badass people. Rihanna, can I guess Rihanna? No. You definitely won't know the girls. Okay. You for sure won't know. Okay. Them. He set me up for failure. You've never seen Pitch Perfect? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's in that. <laughs> Anna Kendrick. Yeah. What the f? The other guy, it's Zach Efron. Yeah, I don't want to guess. Ooh, I know. He's really, like, he's on a really popular YouTube channel, and he's also on Netflix on a baking competition. <laughs> yeah, you're my celebrity freebie. Yeah, great, right? Great. Yeah, yeah, so, like, every night is like a freebie. It's great. Nick Offerman? <laughs> <laughs> we watched that craft show together. The making it show. The making no. it show. <laughs> he's like okay. very like crafty and builds handy? things. Handy. Yeah, he's very handy. An athletic person. An athlete. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He resembles my cousin, which is weird. He was in the Notebook. Oh 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 oh. Uh. uh, uh um. Uh, what is his what name? He's starting Apollo. The Apollo movie. Uh, Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Because it wasn't pictured, I'm, I'm gonna go with Selma Hayek. Yeah. I'm gonna say, just based on how many times you comment about her voice, I would say Jennifer Nettles. No, but that's a good one. <laughs> We're close. Yeah? It's a Jennifer Aniston. Oh, she's, you know what? She's yes. just so Yeah, I can, so I can see that. She filmed a movie in a place we were just in. Buffalo Wild Wings? <laughs> Italy! Oh! Oh, Zendaya? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. You put Zendaya down? Did you put Zendaya down? Wow, no, I didn't put Why Zendaya down. Why is that a proud thing? Batman and... Is she uh, Samuel L. Jackson's lackey? That girl? Lackey, how dare you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. Is it her? Yeah. I can't remember her name, but it's it's the girl that's a uh, Samuel L. Jackson sidekick. What? Kobe? Kobe. Wait, Kobe Smulders? Put it together, Kobe Smulders. That's her name? <laughs> she got it. Well, I did also pick Eric Andre. <laughs> 
which I'm sure isn't the biggest surprise. Who else did I pick? Oh, Henry Rollins. Oh. <laughs> he kind of has like this young Aussie thing, and I love a young Aussie, maybe even a little Kurt Cobain at times. And we'd have great conversations too. Now, Jessica, do you know his other two? <sighs> I do not. I don't know if I'd be able to guess them. I'm gonna give her the best hint ever. Sometimes she resides in a good place. Oh. Kristen Bell. Yes. The third one is a Buffy crush? No. No, but have you seen Buffy? Do you, have you ever watched Buffy? Yes. Okay, well she's in Buffy. But she's not Buffy. She's not Buffy. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> that was Maybe. literally my first crush, Michelle Trachtenberg. For sure, Zac Efron. Zac Efron, he's so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. It even makes you hide your face. It does. It's not like I want to sleep with right. him. I just want him to walk around and bring me a glass of wine without a shirt on. He's just really a good looking guy. One more, and you'll know. Uh, Demi Moore? Yeah. She has a long list. It's not long. What's his name? John No. Jeff Goldblum. Yes. There we go. I it, think she wants me to turn into Jeff Goldblum as I get older. I think like that's her goal. Well, sure. Well, I feel like you'll have a hard time getting this one. All right, then Danny DeVito. N no, <laughs> I don't like him she in that way. She talks about him all the time. Yes, but not in that way. Like I want him to like be my dad. Daddy. Not daddy. Just dad. Sports. I mean, sports. Rafael Nadal. No. <clears throat> Odell Beckham Jr. Oh yeah, that's right. My wife will be Jordan one of them. Yeah, he's hot. Okay. <laughs> He's why. like, he's into nerdy, nerdy looking white boys. Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> hint. Please? Can you give me a hint? A hint for the other guy? He's a YouTuber? Oh, David Dobrik. He doesn't find him attractive, and I'm like, I think, I don't know if it's his personality, a mix of his personality, but I think he's also pretty good looking. Well, this one I know because it's a cute story about it, because I, I was doing background on a lot of TV shows, and it's Criminal Minds, and there I see Shamar Moore. And so I, I kind of secretly take a little picture from far away and I said, hey, look, both your men are working together today. <laughs> Patrick Dempsey and Shamar Moore, they're so different. Right. I could have chosen what... just about anybody. Yeah. Okay, another one that, you know, if you take the head off, pretty much the same thing. Matthew McConaughey? That's it. Oh. That's it. Okay. That's well, it. No wonder we've watched Failure to Launch 47 times. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Tomlinson. Oh, I was gonna put that, but I thought it was too no. niche. Oh, what are you, Louis Tomlinson go, is too niche? Go, go with, go with. What the are lead. you talking go with about? The lead, the lead, Harry Styles. Yeah. Over, you're a Louis girl. Who's my mom's hall pass for me? Oh, f you, Sean Mendes. <laughs> my mom for the past like two years, anytime Sean Mendes comes on TV, she's like, look, Tori, it's your future <laughs> husband. One of my other picks was Amy Sedaris. Um, uh, Strangers with Candy, like our foreplay would be like crafting, and then, you know, like, it could, you know, there would be costumes involved, maybe like a prosthetic nose, I don't know. My other pick was um, Michael Sheen. He's in 30 Rock, which is one of my favorite TV yes, shows, yes. and he's just like, like totally goofy and chaotic and weird. He's just like goofy and it's kind of funny and it's cute. Did you learn anything about each other today? I pretty much knew yours. I, I mean, knew yours, yeah. Yeah. I think I found Ashlyn Harris for you because I was following the, the World Cup. Oh, yeah. And I said, oh, I think I found your new girlfriend. And I showed her a picture of Ashlyn Harris. My, oh, you like, did. Oh, you did. As far as even fantasizing about a celebrity, you know, looks is pretty much, you know, looks and talent is pretty much what it's based on. But looks and talent can't even compare with having a connection with someone. Yeah. You can't create that just by having a hall pass for one night with someone because their looks or their talent. But it's a fun conversation. I trust Eric, and I don't think that if Caitlin Ohashi walked through the door that anything would actually happen. Me, on the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that you're still really cute. Aww. And I trust you gonna cheat on each other. <laughs> Success! Thanks for watching Do Couples Know Their Hall Passes? On the React channel. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe for new shows? Every week. What's your hall pass? 
Let us know down in the comments. Hey y'all, React producer Blythe here. Want to stay up to date on everything FBE, including merch and casting notices? Then join our newsletter. You can click the link in the bio. Bye.